This is a gamble organized by billionaires, and everyone is poisoned. As long as you win this bet, you will not only get the antidote, but also take away the 50 million dollars on the table. The croupier begins to deal the cards. The man who organized the gamble was named Paul, a local billionaire. In the early years, Paul became a 100 billionaire by virtue of gambling, and the basement of villas and luxury cars were lined up. Paul invested in industries all over the world and made a lot of money. Paul is so poor that all he has left is money. Paul and his first wife were very affectionate, but they lost their love because of a car accident. Then Paul remarried and lived a respectful life with Lisa. Paul has no special hobbies, but he likes to collect paintings, especially the top artworks that can be seen everywhere in the home. Money can buy anything. But for Paul in his later years, he has his life to earn money, but he has no life to spend. Not long ago, his personal doctor Sam made a surprise visit and told Paul that his cancer was getting worse and had seriously affected his daily life. It is not difficult for rich people to treat cancer, but Paul's cancer is very rare, and it is the most difficult to cure pancreatic cancer in the world. If medical defense can be adopted in time, his life can be extended for another five months. But Paul didn't get any treatment, and it would be better to die with dignity than to live in pain. So under the witness of the lawyer, Paul left all the properties under his name to his wife and daughter. However, Paul accidentally discovered that Lisa and Myson had an affair and were pregnant. Paul wants revenge on them. A few days later, Paul drove to a farm a hundred miles away. The mysterious figure handed Paul a jar of special medicine. This kind of drug is extremely poisonous, but after a small amount enters the human body, it will only cause physical discomfort and will not cause death. Paul is very satisfied. After returning home, Paul launched a revenge plan. He took out the medicine and nervously dripped a few drops of poison on each red wine towel. After everything was ready, he contacted the butler and asked him to notify his three friends to come to his home to participate in the game, and whoever won would get $50 million. Paul doesn't have many friends, and his best friends are all running around for a living. Since you are going to die, then good brothers die together. All three of Paul's friends were notified. It is difficult for friends to refuse the opportunity to get rich overnight. Daniel and Benny came first, and Myson, who had an improper relationship with Lisa, came third. The butler asked the three of them to choose a luxury car and drive to a more luxurious villa to meet. Each luxury car is equipped with GPS positioning so that Paul can monitor their every move, and Paul smears the poison on the wine glass. Anna was the first to arrive. An hour later, the three brothers arrived as promised, and Paul warmly entertained them. Daniel secretly bought a pistol, ready to kill the rich man at any time. Myson is unable to face Paul because of guilt, and another Benny is plotting a robbery. After the four came to the basement, Paul opened a bottle of 82 La Fight, but when they drank it, everyone was poisoned. The betting game officially started. Anna dealt the cards first, and several friends were bound to win $50 million. The gambling game is about to enter a white-hot stage, and the bets are getting bigger and bigger. Everyone present became tense. Their faces were reddish, their bodies were hot, and there was a sense of tension that was not breathing well. They didn't notice any abnormalities in their bodies, only Paul knew in his heart that the poison had begun to take effect. However, there are people around the villa who are watching every move of the rich people. Knowing that tonight will be a big deal, Jerry plans to kill everyone quietly. The defense inside this villa is extremely tight, and they need to wait for an opportunity. The reason why Jerry knew the specific location of the villa was because of Benny's tip-off. Benny was originally an important member of the local government, but was caught by the robbery gang. Benny wants to keep his reputation, and the gang wants to steal 300 million worth of art from the villa. In this way, Benny betrayed Paul, but the robbery gang couldn't get in without the villa password. They waited for an opportunity. A staff member went out and opened the door, and the three of Jerry followed immediately. They knocked the butler unconscious and tried to ask for the password. On the other hand, Paul's daughter Molly found out that her father was terminally ill, and Lisa apparently didn't know about it. Lisa seems to have guessed something, the relationship between Lisa and Myson has been exposed. The two quickly drove to the villa, but at this time, the rich people in the villa didn't know that the danger was coming. They chatted at the gaming table, 
telling about the brotherhood they hadn't seen for many years. Suddenly, the alarm outside the door was triggered, and everyone stopped what they were doing. Just when the bodyguard was about to step forward to check, The person who came was Paul's fourth friend Robert. Robert found that Paul had withdrawn a large amount of cash and came to see if he was in danger. Paul's plan was disrupted by Robert's arrival, and the betting was forced to suspend. Paul couldn't bear to let his brothers die in vain, and finally told the truth. The moment you touch the wine glass, the poison has entered your body and penetrated into Evryon's blood. It is normal to feel hot and sweat. The reason why Paul did this was because he was terminally ill. Daniel casually pulled out the pistol from his back. It turned out that Daniel's business failed and he owed huge foreign debts. Speaking of this, Benny also confessed the difficult situation of being threatened and losing his status. And the last Mycin took the initiative to confess his relationship with Lisa. Surprisingly, Paul was not angry, but blessed instead. But at this time, the real danger is coming quietly. The beauty is, changing clothes. Suddenly, a group of robbers, broke into the villa with guns, with the purpose of stealing 300 million worth of artwork in the, villa. The rich people quickly came to the monitoring room. Just wait until the police arrive, and they will be able to escape unscathed. While the, robbers downstairs were looking around, every painting on the wall was worth a lot of money, and even made them live comfortably for the rest of, their lives. But only the painting worth 300 million, was collected separately. Jerry picked up the red wine on the wine table and drank it, but he didn't know that he was already poisoned. They knew that the rich must be hiding in a secret room and monitoring them. A bullet in Paul's pistol was no match for them at all. The accident still happened. Paul's wife and daughter returned to the villa. Unable to calm down anymore, Paul took out his pistol to cut off the power supply, and Paul left the secret room alone. The robbers took hostages, they only asked for money not killing people, long as Paul handed over the 300 million painting, they would be released. Paul agrees to a quid pro quo. Subsequently, the two robbers went to the basement to pick up the painting. Jerry began to lose his expression because he drank the wine on the gaming table. Paul began to threaten him, you drank my poisoned wine, you can't get out of this villa. Jerry panicked for a moment, he had clearly felt something abnormal in his body. Paul put down the pistol, opened the safe and took out a huge amount of cash and a poison commonly known as the antidote. Sure enough, Jerry knocked Paul out, with the butt of his gun. Jerry injected all the antidotes into his body. But as we said before, there is no problem at all with a small amount of, this special poison. But Jerry ingested too much, and eventually fell down the steps and died in the garden of the villa. As for the other gangs of, robbers, they were also killed by the brothers. At the end of the story, Paul passed away due to terminal illness. Part of all his property was left to the three brothers to pay off debts and subsidize the family. Paul also purchased family property for Lisa and Mycin, and another part of the estate was left to his daughter. So far, the three brothers have lived happily together.